Good day, this is Mission Control Houston. Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's ISS update, this Friday, November 30th. And now let's have a look back at this week in space. On a Monday, after enjoying some time off over the Thanksgiving holiday weekend, the three Expedition 34 crew members got back to work. Station Commander uh, Kevin Ford performed uh, some routine maintenance in the waste and hygiene compartment. He had uh, spent some time to remove and replace the air filters. He also then performed hatch seal inspections throughout the uh, U.S. section of the orbiting laboratory, taking photographs of the seals for uh, downlink and expert analysis. Meanwhile, on the Russian side of the house, flight engineers Oleg Novinsky and uh, Yevgeny Tarokin had worked with the typology experiment, which uh, studies a crew member's psychophysical state and ability to perform and communicate under stress. Novitsky and uh, Tarelkin also worked in the Russian segment of the station, monitoring its systems and performing a variety of housekeeping and uh, maintenance duties. Meanwhile, the crew members also collected blood samples and performed body mass measurements to help experts on the ground track their health during their stay aboard the station. Meanwhile, on Monday at the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center in Star City, Russia, the uh, three additional Expedition 34 crew members continued their preparations for their upcoming trip to the station. NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield, and uh, Russian Federal Space Agency cosmonaut Roman Romaninko are uh, scheduled to launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on uh, December 19. Also on Monday, NASA, the uh, Russian Federal Space Agency, and their international partners selected two veteran spacefarers for a uh, one-year mission aboard the International Space Station in 2015. This mission will include collecting scientific data important to uh, future human exploration of our solar system. NASA has selected Scott Kelly, and Ros Cosmos has chosen uh, Mikhail Kornienko. And on Tuesday, Commander Kevin Ford and flight engineers Oleg Novitsky and Yevgeny Trelkin participated in emergency medical procedure reviews with the crew health care system. The training gives crew members the opportunity to work as a team in uh, resolving a simulated medical emergency and refreshes their memory of equipment locations, use, and procedures. Ford also had some time on Tuesday to schedule, schedule to uh, review procedures for upcoming data takes with the uh, synchronized position hold, engage, and reorient experimental satellites, also known as SPHERES. SPHERES uses three bowling ball-sized satellites to test techniques that could lead to advancements in automated dockings, satellite servicing, spacecraft assembly, and emergency repairs. Ford also worked on Tuesday in the Destiny Lab's microgravity science glove box for an ongoing in space 3 experiment. The study observes fluids filled with uh, microscopic particles or colloids and how they behave when exposed to magnetic fields. Also on Tuesday, Ford had uh, participated in some in-flight interviews with WNDU-TV and the Notre Dame Observer in South Bend, Indiana, answering a variety of questions about his stay aboard the orbiting laboratory. Also on uh, Tuesday, robotics officers in mission control had commanded the station's robotic arm, the Canada Arm-2, to walk off from the mobile base system power and data grapple fixture to the Harmony power and data grapple fixture in advance of a routine inspection of the uh, station arm uh, latching end effector. Then at the uh, Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center in Star City, Russia, on Tuesday, those uh, Expedition 34 crew members who are on the ground scheduled to launch to the station on December 9th had uh, continued their preparations for their upcoming trip to the station. Tuesday was their uh, first of two days of the uh, Russian Soyuz and Russian segment qualification exams and simulations that uh, eventually led to their final certification for flight. Then on Wednesday, Commander Kevin Ford collected data and water samples in the Kibo Laboratory's aquatic habitat for the Madaka experiment, which studies the effects of microgravity on the biological systems of Madaka fish. Ford also worked again with the uh, SPHERES experiment, again, that is uh, synchronized position, hold, engage, and reorient experimental satellites. Then uh, flight engineers Oleg Novitsky and Yevgeny Tarelkin worked with the typology experiment, which studies a crew member's psychophysical state and ability to perform and communicate under stress. And then a, uh, the second and final day 
of uh, qualification exams and simulations continued at the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center in uh, Star City, Russia. Again, those uh, Expedition 34 crew members soon to uh, launch to the space station were NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield, and the Russian Federal Space Agency cosmonaut Roman Romanenko. Then on Thursday, the uh, Expedition 34 crew members took part in a pair of emergency Soyuz descent drills, working closely with the ground control teams during simulated fire and depressurization emergencies. Ford also worked again on the microgravity science glove box for the ongoing In Space 3 experiment. And the uh, three crew members soon to join the crew aboard the International Space Station received their final formal certification for flight after their two days of qualification exams. They also held their uh, traditional news conference at the Gagarian Cosmonaut Training Center in Star City, Russia. This is Mission Control Houston.